The iPhone SE is no longer a rumor, it is officially here. It comes in three colors, a white, a black, and a product red, and a starting price at $399. It has Touch ID, so it doesn't have Face ID, but it does feature an A13 Bionic chip, which is the same chip that is in the iPhone 11 Pro. This phone is going to be replacing the iPhone 8, and it is a huge upgrade from the original iPhone SE that people loved. I'm obviously a huge fan of having a larger screen size, but for a lot of people, they don't need a larger screen size. They just need a phone that works, that makes calls, that can take incredible photos and videos and this could be the phone for a lot of people, especially if they've been holding out on doing an upgrade. So the storage capacity is 64, 128, and 256, and it's crazy because the jump from 64 to 128 is only a $50 upgrade. Obviously 64 is not that huge of storage, but most of the stuff people need nowadays, you can store everything in the cloud, your photos, your videos. So if you are looking to save, obviously the 64 option is there, but for a 128 upgrade for 50 bucks, you never know when you might need that extra storage because I never thought that I would fill up a 512 gig phone, but guess who filled up their phone? Uh, me. Me. The Apple logo is now centered on the back. It has haptic touch. It does only have one camera on the back, but with this, you can still do portrait mode. It doesn't support pet portrait mode, but you can still do portrait mode with people. This one does not support night mode, unfortunately. And since it does only have one lens, you're not gonna have the ultra wide or the telephoto. This is just the regular wide angle. The front camera is seven megapixels, which also supports portrait mode. A lot of this is thanks to the A13 Bionic chip because this is giving this phone way more processing power that it's able to use algorithms to enhance these photos. So the back camera is a 12 megapixel camera and this will shoot 4K at 24, 30, and 60 frames a second. And something that I forget about quite a lot is the quick take video when you press down the record button and you swipe. That'll let you quickly record a video. This also supports that and it's really great because this phone is so powerful. Most of the features that you're used to in iOS 13 will be running just as smooth on this phone as it is on the iPhone 11s. The front camera only shoots 1080, but it does feature some cinematic video stabilization so even if you are filming with that front camera, your footage will be much more stabilized. It is water and dust resistant, so it has a rating of IP67, which means you can have it underwater up to one meter for up to 30 minutes. Of course, I now, obviously something that's not recommended, but just to know that if you do happen to drop your phone into one meter of water, it should be okay, as long as you get it out quickly. It's available for pre-orders on April 17th and then availability on April 24th. The new SE is also T wireless compatible, which I wasn't well, actually quite surprised at because the fact that this price is so low, that's usually something that people cut first to try to keep the costs down. So I'm definitely glad that this does have wireless charging. It also supports fast charge. The charger that's in the box though that it comes with is not one of the fast charging bricks so you will have to get a different one if you do want to have fast charge. It also supports eSIM and dual SIMs and is Wi-Fi 6 compatible. The thing I keep going back to though is the price. The fact that this is still $399 which is the same price as the iPhone SE was in 2016. Someone who wants to have the latest and greatest and the newest of tech, this is not for you. I think right now more than ever people are using their phones basically, well I mean people use their phones to communicate anyway but now now in this weird time that we're in, the phone is really our only kind of contact to the outside world, to our friends, to our family, to our loved ones. And there's a lot of people that have older phones that they're not even able to do FaceTime or able to connect with people in such an easy fashion. Definitely looking forward to checking this out. I would love to hear from you guys. What do you think of the new iPhone SE? Is this something that you've been looking forward to? Is this something that you've been holding out for? Do you think this is the perfect phone for your parents, for your grandparents? I would love to hear it all in the comments below. And if there's anything else you would like to know about this phone, also leave those in the comments and I can follow up when I finally get one in my hands to unbox. I am, I just realized my switch is right here. That's weird. Hmm. Guess it's good time to check on my island now. Hey Tom Nook, are you going to get an iPhone SE? He definitely is.